kids and welcome back to the keys kids channel and i miss keys we are back for our official 12th episode and week three of our june july series all about main idea see you guys didn't even make a face this time i'm telling you it's getting even better hey but before we get to all the good stuff don't forget to subscribe new videos every friday now remember main idea is the most important idea of an article topic or book the big idea but you also have supporting details or legs to support your main idea to create your chair if you remember now this week's episode is also a special episode because today is officially june 19th this is our official juneteenth episode Yay! <laughs> that's right on this channel we celebrate juneteenth now for those of you who don't know we need to go back in time to 1861. In 1861, you had the United States. But the North United States and the South United States did not agree. The South United States wanted to be its own country. And the North United States just wanted to be one country. So they started to fight. And that was the beginning of the Civil War. Now, during that time, Abraham Lincoln made the Emancipation Proclamation. So, on January 1st, 1863, all slaves were free from what Abraham Lincoln said. But if you remember, the South wanted to be its own country. So it wasn't following none of the rules of the North. So the slaves in the South were not free. Until April 9th, 1865, General Robert Lee surrendered. He gave up the fight. The South was not gonna become their own country and the United States can become one again. But they didn't tell the slaves until two whole months later on June 19, 1865, they came down to the deep south, Texas, and told the slaves that they were free. So we, black people, celebrate June 19th as our day of Independence Day. We laugh, we cook, we dance, we sing, we celebrate Juneteenth as the day we were officially free people. So, for a good portion of the world, July 4th is Independence Day. But for black people, Juneteenth is our Independence Day. And for the Keys Kids channel, Juneteenth is a day we are going to celebrate because black lives matter. I will continue to bring awareness and celebrate black culture this is my part to contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement. And just in case you forgot, Black Lives Matter. Happy Juneteenth. And with all of that being said, are you guys ready to read? Today, we will be reading All Different Now, Juneteenth, The First Day of Freedom by Angela Johnson and E.B. Lewis. This book is not what historically happened on the first day of Juneteenth, but this is an imagination of what the slaves felt, what that day was really like for those slaves then who finally found out they were free. Before then, slaves woke up every morning at the crack of dawn and worked in the field in the heat all day long. And then somebody just came through and said, hey, you're free to go? 
So this book is going to give us what we could imagine the slaves felt during that day. I am so excited to read it. I'm so excited to celebrate Juneteenth. I'm so excited that you guys are here again today. And with all of that said, you know what time it is, right? That's right. It's time to read. Let's go. All different now. Juneteenth, the first day of freedom by Angela Johnson, illustrated by E.B. Lewis. A June morning breeze off the port blew the smell of honeysuckle past the fields, across the yard, and into our room to wake us. And nobody knew, as we ate a little, talked a little, and headed to the fields as the sun was rising, that soon it would all be different. Then we worked, and worked, and worked some more under the hot Texas sun. And if you know anything about Texas, whoo, baby, it's hot down here. Until word spread from the port to the town, through the countryside, and into the fields. That a Union general had read from a balcony that we were all now and forever free and things would be all different now. I watched as my Aunt Laura sang as she held her baby. Mr. Jake, who some say was a hundred, cried quietly. And a group of grown people bowed their heads and whispered things to each other I could not hear. My mama held my hand softly and looked beyond as another breeze blew over and everything fell to a hush. But later, Papa, Mama, the aunts and uncles, and all of my cousins had an afternoon picnic by the water. My baby brother crawled around our blanket as we listened to the sounds of the waves. And as more people joined us, we ate as free people, laughed as free people, and told stories as free people on into the night. What was before would be no more. As we walked back home, the cool of the night soothed our tired feet that padded quietly past the shadowy fields of cotton. And in the morning, the smell of honeysuckle will wake me again, besides my sister and brother, to a time that will be for all of us all different now. The end. What an amazing and informative book. And that was a really big reason why I wanted to read it to you guys today. Some people don't know about Juneteenth. They don't know why it's celebrated. They don't really understand why it's so important. But for us black people, it's our Independence Day. If you notice the people in the book were surprised and they had a picnic in the middle of the day. If you know anything about slavery during that time, a picnic for black people while the sun was out? Baby, what? That wasn't happening. Slavery was a very serious thing. It was the control of black lives. And I think it's important to inform people why Juneteenth is important. It's important for our children to know about Juneteenth and why it's celebrated because black lives matter. It's very important that we stay knowledgeable. And the more knowledgeable we are, the better we can be as people. Because yeah, 
We're all different. But that makes the world even better. We all matter. But right now, it's important that we understand how important it is that Black Lives Matter. So I want to thank, I mean really, really thank Angela Johnson and E.B. Lewis for this book, helping educate our youth, educate myself, and just remind us why Juneteenth was important. Thank you guys. Now, since we did a history lesson, I think it's time for a little bit of a reading lesson. That's right. It's time to do our main idea. But this one is going to be easier than the other two because you're getting better at it. But I'm going to give you guys a little time to think. What was the main idea of the story? That's right. The main idea of All Different Now is that even though this young girl woke up as a slave, ready to pick cotton and live every day as she usually did, that her world would completely change. And by the end of the day, she was a free person. Her world was All Different Now. See, you guys did it again. <laughs> but before we get too excited, let's pull some information to support our main idea. The first thing we can pull is that she woke up, they ate a little, and they went right to the fields like normal. The second thing we can pull, they announced from the balcony that they were forever free and it went from the town to the countryside to the fields. Lastly, we can pull that they woke up the next morning and they were free people, no longer slaves, ready for the world. You guys did it, you have your whole chair. We have the whole main idea. I am so proud of you guys. You guys are doing such a good job. We are not even close to being finished, but I can tell you guys are getting more and more excited to do Main Idea every week. By the time we get to July, I just, I can't wait to see you guys. I also have special surprises coming soon. Please, you guys, don't forget, on Monday, you get to see our book of the week. And next week's book, I am so excited about. I've been waiting to read it. And so, don't forget to go to the Keys Kids channel on Instagram to see what book that is. And remember, every Friday, a new episode is out on the Keys Kids channel on YouTube. So please, please, please don't forget to go subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can be reminded for that brand new episode. I thank you guys for joining me today. Don't forget to go out, eat some good food, dance, shout from the mountaintop, celebrate Black Lives today because it is our Independence Day. It is Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. And I'll see you guys next week on the Keys Kids channel. Bye. See you next week.